I just wanted to ask you the question of, so you mentioned in the second graphic that if you are consuming too much fat, that it will stop. I forgot what the names are, but essentially you'll end up making more triglycerides. Yeah. So is there a point where on a carnivore diet, you're eating too much fat and then that will then also, you know, be non-beneficial where your triglycerides can actually go up yeah. in, yes. in the levels that are not ideal. Yes. Any, any time that your fat consumption is chronically higher than the amount of fat you are effectively oxidizing on a daily basis, there will be an overplus of fat and that will be stored as, as trace or glyceride as fat that will be stored on your body as fat. Absolutely. So I just want to make the distinction though, because you know, there's a lot of people that come to carnivore and they're like, okay, I'm all in, I'll do meat. Hmm. But then they only eat the leanest meats because they're really deathly scared of fat. Yeah. And I don't want people to think that, well, fat makes you fat. It's just if you eat more levels of energy than you need, mm. then you can actually gain weight on a carnivore diet. Yes. But it's not solely because you're eating fat. Correct. The, the, the thing though, however, the thing that kind of um, balances all of that out, Judy, is I challenge you to chronically overconsume food on a strictly 100% carnivore diet. Go for it. We'll wait. You can't do it. But if you add, okay, I, I agree if you only use meats, but mm. if you add cheese, mm. if you add dairy, mm -hmm. if you add other higher, like with little, little bits of carbs, I do think you can overeat. So if you eat yes. a lot of bacon, yes. if you eat a lot of cheese, yes. a lot more of the processed maybe. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah. that's where my only caveat yes. would be. All right. But if you ate true, just. Yes. Meat and fat. No dairy, just meat and fat, salt and water, rinse and repeat. Okay. I challenge you to overeat on that diet. For You might be able to do it for a couple of weeks. I've just done it for a couple of weeks myself with malice of forethought with a particular goal of mine called priming, which is for another day. But the, by the end of two okay. weeks of overeating on meat and fat, my body was like, that is enough, Charlie Brown, no more. You can't do it. You know, the, the satiety signals, the hormone levels, Everything right, are yeah. such that you, you simply will not chronically overeat on that diet. So it won't happen. Interesting that you bring up the high protein, low fat approach to carnivore. Also a mistake, by the way, above a certain level. Here's why. Some of the amino acids that you find in protein are gluconeogenic in nature. And if you consume too many of those, what will happen is your body will not be able to use those to incorporate into your protein structures because you your body's fully replete with all the protein it needs. We have all this excess protein now. What your body will do is whip off the amino section, the NH4, leaving behind ostensibly a carbohydrate structure, which will then transmute through gluconeogenesis into, guess what? Sugar. And then that will be stored as trace or glyceride or as fat because you will now have too much sugar. You can have too much blood sugar because you have taken in too much protein. By the same token, if you don't take in enough protein, if your protein level is too low, here's what happens. That will mean that you will have no effective insulin spiking during the day because if you're only eating proteins and not carbohydrates, protein is your only source of glucose spikes, which is your only yeah. source of insulin. If you don't have insulin spiking during the day in your meals, then what happens is you'll start wasting electrolytes because your kidneys rely on the insulin to help them to retain your sodium, potassium, your chloride, etc. all those electrolytes that keep you viable, and you will start to suffer electrolyte disturbances. That is what happened to Dr. Saladino. He was not eating enough protein for him. He said the solution was to eat carbohydrates, thus causing an insulin spike, thus meaning he wouldn't waste his electrolytes anymore but he's robbing peter to pay paul he's solving an electrolyte problem that he could have solved by by eating more protein and instead he's eating carbohydrates which are activating his randall cycle for which he will pay the price at some point 